The sudden trouble in the cockpit of a United flight to Denver. One of the pilots in trouble, nurses on board, jumping into action. And who helped land the plane? ABC's Clayton Sandell reporting from Denver. Tonight, one airline captain is alive. Thanks to two quick-thinking passengers on a recent United flight out of Des Moines, Iowa. Amy Sorensen was watching a movie when there's a call for help. Asking if anybody on board had um, any medical experience. Sorensen, a nurse from Wyoming, and Linda Alvice, a nurse from California, race from coach to cockpit because the person having serious chest pains is the pilot. And he was kind of slumped over in his chair, uh, and he was mumbling incoherently, and I then turned to the co-pilot and said, you know how to land the plane, right? Pictures show Sorensen and Alvice quickly turning the plane's galley into an emergency room. They say the pilot had an irregular heartbeat. They gave him medication, oxygen, and fluids, keeping him stable until they could land. The flight was originally supposed to land here in Denver until the co-pilot, along with a retired military pilot that just happened to be on board, urgently steered the plane toward Omaha. Medical emergencies in the air happen about once every 600 flights. Tonight, United tells us their pilot is expected to be okay. I don't really consider it heroic. We just jumped in knowing that the patient needed care and just jumped into our roles. Just doing their jobs, but this time at 30,000 feet. Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Denver. Saluting those nurses tonight.